Hi, this is Robin Hessel with Amber, and she's here to talk to you all about tack cleaning today. Amber, what about this? So these are the normal products that I use whenever I'm cleaning my tack on a day-to-day -day basis. So I've got a clean towel and a bucket of water to rinse off all the dirt and sweat. And then I've got a leather gel that was recommended by my saddle brand to use. Um, and so this is what I use to condition it after on my days where I'm just in a pinch and I need all, I only have like five minutes in between all the stuff I have to do today. So I've got my goofy bridle over here so I can kind of demonstrate what I'm doing here. As you can see, there's a bunch of loose hair and sugar, sweat, and stuff on it. So what I'm going to do first is pull everything out of the keepers so that I can very quickly clean everything. And then with my damp rag, I'll just start wiping it down and just getting all of the sweat and hair and grossness off of it. And this does not have to be scientific. You just have to, you know, kind of get off most of the stuff since this is just a quick tack cleaning day. If it was a day where I was actually going to sit down and take it all apart, I might do things a little more methodically. But done is better than perfect and we are very busy people so, <laughs> so now that this is basically wiped down I'm gonna go ahead and grab my other rag and just get it a little more clean before I put my conditioner on it and so I find that this is the quickest and easiest way to get your bridles cleaned. And why is it important to keep your bridle clean? So the reason is it performs a lot better and it lasts longer. So you gotta think about it. This is on their face and their faces are very sensitive. And so if they have really clunky, dirty leather on their face, it's kind of hard for them to feel comfortable in their face. It's kind of like, would you like running around in the same like socks that you've been running around in the last couple of weeks? That's how I like to think about it. And so by keeping it clean, I find the horses, they just seem happier. Maybe that's just me in my mind, but that's kind of what I have personally found. And so since this is now wiped down, it's ready for some conditioner. So We'll just come over here. And do you condition it every time? No, I don't condition it every time. It kind of depends on the time of year. In the winter, I condition more because it's drier. But over and so over the summer, I don't condition it quite as much, but I make sure to definitely keep all of the salt off. That's just what I have found works best for the leather. So it's definitely a seasonal thing, but I don't condition it every single day because that can kind of overwhelm the leather because you can condition too much. And so whenever I'm just cleaning through things really quickly, I like to pull the buckles up a little bit and clean in this little spot right here because this is where I find that most of the damage occurs because we normally just clean over it and we don't actually clean underneath the buckles. And so that's where I just kind of push that off, give it a nice little scrub and put it back. So I do that for the entire bridle. And luckily this one, it's worn in enough so I can see exactly where it needs to go back. But you can also just stop and take a quick picture if you forget where it's supposed to go if you take it apart. And so I found that this is the easiest and quickest way to help my leather last longer and to keep it clean in between lessons. And, and what about your saddle? I don't mean to rush you on, but I see you have your saddle sitting here. Yeah, so I follow kind of a similar thing with it. I make sure that all of the dirt and hair and sweat is off of it with a wet rag to make sure that I'm not like conditioning in any dirt because that will really damage the leather. And so I make sure that after each ride, well, I try to after each ride, wipe it off. And then about once every couple weeks, as I feel like it needs it, then I'll deep condition it. And the leather will kind of tell you if it's needing a little bit of conditioning. So you'll notice that it's starting to get just a little dry in areas. And if it soaks up the conditioner more, then I'll just keep conditioning it. What about the billets? Do you do those too? Um, I do not as often as 
the rest of the tack because this is a different type of leather than like the, the leather that's on the seat. So I always wipe these down to keep them clean, but I don't condition them super often because they'll stretch out and it'll actually wear them down. So, but each saddle maker actually has recommendations on their website. So for example, this is a Fairfax. So that's how they recommend that we clean it. And they have a specific cleaner, but CWDs and Antares, they're all gonna require something different. And so if you use the conditioner that's compatible with your saddle, clean, with your actual saddle, it'll make it last longer because the leather has been designed to handle the chemicals that are in each cleaner. And so. what about your girth? Do you clean it too? I do. I always wipe it down because that is one of the most disgusting areas that gets really dirty is right in the chest area on a horse. So I always wipe that down and keep it clean and then I condition it as it feels like it needs. So sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. Oh, that's so. great. Thank you so much. No problem.